So travelling we've gone over to Far Hills for the New Jersey Hunt Cup as a grade one chase. So agent decoy for Pedrick Hogan, Captain Mannering for Martin Leedham, Vinnie Gerard's Senchi Aerodynamic, winner is Maiden last week, Alex Cherry called Jonathan, Daniel French sends two higher calling a Monash VJ, Petoski Blue for Stu Gray, Darren Thompson, Salzello Menor, John Morgan Sandbrook, the devastator and he has been for Joshua Sutherland, Tower Amlets of Pontypool Race and Leon Van Rensburg's Woodlands, World Class of David Hooley, Vinnie Gerard's Senchi Utopia first time out, Leon van Rensburg's Dragon's Cry, Haberley for Darren Thompson, David Robertson's La Via Palaveria, Mallorca Dream for David Hooley, Craig Beckwith's Nightclubber, David Robertson's Rebecca Sledmere, Hollywood Hinton's Sandhill Grouse, Alex Cherry's Seminole World, Word, Shatara for John Morgan and Joshua Sutherland's The Shepherd. A massive field have gone across the pond. They're already over the first, and they all clear it. But here in Yankee Doodle Down, we're going to watch the American as they get to the second. I think there's going to be some hard luck stories in this race. So, as they approach the next, it's a massive field. They go across whatever road that is. It's probably not a road, it's a block. It's probably Manhattan Street. But there's two groups already. There's plenty racing wide, but Sandbrook is the one that leads us and with Dragon's Cry out along with Tower Hamlets and Shatara. I think that's the Devastate. Oh no, Devastate is up against the fence. I can't tell you that is very well wide. I would have thought it is maybe Haberly, but maybe not. It looks like it's in the grey Clutterbuck silks. So I'm not sure which one that would be. Anyway, we're to the third. The leaders are over it. A mistake there, I think, by the Devastator on the inside. A long way away from me here. Get to the fourth. Clear that as well. They're all still on their feet. The one just at the back is Mayorka Dream, looking to go off on his holidays already. But it's still Shatara and Sandbrook for John Morgan. In between those, I think, is Leon Van Rensburg's Dragon's Cry. It's Tower Amlets for Grey Clutterbuck on the wide outside. Then we've got the Shepherd. I think Sandhill Grouse and Potoski Blue are together. And Martin Leedham's Captain Main Wearing or Mannering. Then we've got Cool Jonathan. Monish VJ up against the fence. Yeah, so the wider still is world class as they get to the fifth. They'll clear it. And we've still got Haberly in there and Salzello Menor. La Via Palariva. Pala Pala yeah, world class is in there. Agent Decoy and Nightclubber. We'll see this Jersey Hunt Cup chases kind of distance we want for the Gold Cup, so I bet there's a few in here that will be heading, oh we've finally lost one, it's Woodlands that's gone for Leon Van Rensburg, unlucky, as I said there's probably a few here that will turn up at the Gold Cup, can Knight club up, do it again for Craig Beckwith, after his winner with, I think it was what, no son I think last year won the Gold Cup, but back to the Jersey Hunt Cup, great one chase, and it is Sandbrook and Shatara from Dragon's Cry and the Devastator. Poloski Blue and Tower Amlets has slipped back a little bit to the Shepherd. Captain Mannering, Sandhill Grouse up against the fence, and then Leveri Palariva as they get to the eighth. I'll go past the winning post again. And I'll go around twice more. It's quite short here, a short course here at Far Hills, but Sandbrook and Shatara, the two John Moore. Horses happily bowling along in front from Dragon's Cry and the Devastator and Tower Amlets. And the length of Petoski Blue for Stu Gray and the Black Silks and the Green Sash. Up against the rail there is the Shepherd. And then you got Salzella, Menor, Lavier, Palariva, Captain Mannering. Nightclub has improved a little bit now. Then Sandhill Grouse still up against the rail. Followed through by World Class about three deep and Haberly. Then the first of the Green Silks of Centiero Dynamic, winner last time out. They're followed through by Monash VJ up against the round. He's outside his seminal word as they get to the ninth. Bad uh, landing there by Sandbrook. And it goes all the way back to Senchi Utopia. Vinnie Gerard Won the Peter Marsh handicap chase earlier in the day today. And they all skip over the tenth. So only losing one here at Far Hills. Although I can't imagine the fences are too massive here at Oh, we've lost another there. It's the Devastator that's gone, and that will be devastating for Josh Sutherland. Probably his Gold Cup horse. Well, he's hit the ground here in America. 
doesn't travel well. Let's hope he doesn't travel well to Cheltenham. But it's Sam Rook and Shatara from Dragon's Cry. So Zello Manor has improved and got closer now, along with the Shepherd and Tower Amulets. Potoski Blue is still hanging on to this leading group. And we've got Night Clover and Mallorca Dream, who's made up a lot of good ground. Followed through by Lavier Pararriva for David Robertson. Then we've got Habili and Sinchiero Dynamic. There again is Rebecca Sledme again, her first mention, Captain Mannering and World Class. Oh, and Century Utopia has gone now. There's one down for Vinnie Gerard, he's got a couple in here. He's Century Aerodynamic, winner last time out. Still there. Sandhill Grouse has dropped right off the back of the pack now. A couple trying to move through the pack. Captain Mannering there, and I think Habily. But it is Sandbrook out on his own now as. Shatara just drops back a little bit and the Shepherd gets into second. Piteski Blue out wide. Pushing up again now is Mallorca Dream. Getting closer to his holidays with just five furlongs left to run. Take the 14th. And we've lost another one this time. It's Shatara that's gone. So he was slipping back in the pack and it's still this Sandbrook that leads as we come down to the final half mile. So it's Sandbrook from Habily running on well now and improving all the time. Slow over it, Sandbrook, and that's allowed Habily. Wide outside is this Sentiero Dynamic, but it's Habily and Sentiero Dynamic. Sells element or between horses. Wider still is Lavier Palariva. Jumping between them all is Dragon's Cry running on his nightclub. Potoski Blue is still there, but up front it's Habily and Sentiero Dynamic and Sells element or Lavier Palariva just on the outside running still well now is Dragon's Cry Night Clubber Potoski Blue wider still is the Shepherd but up front Salzello Menor the one that's given way is Habili but Salzello Menor Sentiero Dynamic doesn't look like he's got a left, lot left here comes Night Clubber for last year's winning Gold Cup trainer and it's Salzello Menor from Night Club here comes Night Club Salzello Menor's got nothing left Night Club the Shepherd running on Dragon's Cry they get down to the last he's over it Night Clubber Night Clubber leads but here comes Dragon's Cry and the Shepherd He's going to hold him off. There's only a quarter of a furlong left to run. And it's Night Clubber going to hold off the Shepherd and Dragon's crying. So Zellerman, you're on Mallorca Dream. As you can see, all the top trainers take the first five positions of the Grade 1 Jersey Hunt Cup. But a good win there for Craig Beckless, Night Clubber. Could he win the Gold Cup? Oh, as a stewards. Could something have happened? No, it has happened. Unbelievably, the night clubber has lost the race. I'd have to go back and look at that. But anyway, so Joshua Southern wins by default, takes it with the Shepherd. What are they saying? Strange, do they disqualify for causing interference? Well, that is a shame. So it wasn't some of the top five trainers with Craig just dropping out there. But it is Mallorca Dream, for, sorry, the Shepherd that takes it from Dragon's Cry. Sells Elemanor's third. Mallorca Dream is fourth and Chenchi Aerodynamic got up for fifth.